Hi, Dean Casmeno here. I often get asked about my personal breakthrough programs or any one of my coaching programs about who they are best designed for and um, and who can experience the greatest level of of return on their time and their investment. <clears throat> and without without sounding without sounding too biased, I would suggest that that my programs are for everybody. But in respect to readiness for change, you know, those people who are, you know, individuals who are actually ready to make a change, I, I don't really know whether we're actually ever really ready to make some of the changes that we want to make. Um, I know many times in my life that I wasn't necessarily ready um, to make a change now. But what I did know is that I went through, I suppose, a series of, of, different thoughts, different feelings, uh, different emotions, and I knew that there had to be a certain level of discomfort that I was going to go through um, that allowed me to eventually take action. Um, however, with it took me almost up to 10 to 12 years, it was probably actually longer, yeah, 10 to 12 years to, to really acknowledge just how bad things were for me personally. Um, I had to go through a lot of pain um, to finally come to the realization that I needed to make a change. Um, a change that would that would positively influence my own physical, mental and emotional well-being. A change that would influence the people around me. A change that would allow me to attract the right types of relationships or one particular relationship, being my wife, Christy, um, and a, a change that allowed me to to do the type of work, actually I don't even call it work, to, to run my life in a way where I'm adding massive value to people's lives. Now, if I knew this whole concept of the, of the pleasure pain principle, I'm not sure whether you've heard it before, um, I think that I would have gone, th gone through the whole process of deciding to make that change um, a lot sooner than a lot sooner than later. So if you haven't heard about it before, um, the pleasure pain principle is is very much um, alike as some of the messages that you may have heard. Uh, if you ever heard of any any of Anthony Robbins's um, talks, TED talks, or any of his uh, audio programs or audio books, is that I think a lot of the time what happens with people is they get so stuck in pain right now. They link so much stuff, so much stuff, so much problem to, you know, so much pain associated to the problems right now that they just don't get moving. They get stuck. It's almost like they paralyze themselves because of them consciously or unconsciously thinking about all the pain they need to go through to make some of the changes that they want to make. And this keep, keeps, keeps people frustrated, it keeps people totally angry, it keeps people sad, it keeps people you know, fearful of the unknown or fear of, fear of what might happen, it keeps people miserable. Um, it creates a sense of, it can potentially create a sense of loathing and self-hate. Um, it, totally, it totally influences our behavior in a way that moves us further away from how magnificent we really are. And it leaves, leaves, leaves us living a somewhat semi-detached, um, unfulfilled life. And so there are a couple of things when thinking about that. that that's talking about the, the pain associated to now. But what if you started to think about the pain associated with you not making the changes in the future? What might happen then? So it moves you away from now and you start to consider the pain associated in the future. And you start to think, about, well, if I don't start to make a change right now, this is the certain consequences that may happen in the future, but we, we, but we often don't think about that. We just focus on the here and now, the pain associated with the here and now. So first thing to do is start thinking about, okay, if I wasn't to make these changes right now, what might the effect be in one year from now, in two years from now, in three years from now? And consider that. I'm not telling you to dwell on it. I'm not asking you to dwell on it, but just to consider it. The next thing is to think about the pleasure. And this is one thing that I know um, from a lot of feedback from clients, a lot of the workshops that I run, 
And I don't know whether it's just become part of the human condition, but how many people do you know, maybe yourself included, I know with myself, how often is it that we never we never say thank you to ourselves? We never link pleasure to the things that we just achieved or just achieved. We just sort of brush them up and say, yeah, okay, on to the next thing. We continue, continue to raise this ever invisible bar and the bar just keeps on moving. And we never actually you know, have this element of gratitude and gratefulness uh, and fulfillment of what we've actually just accomplished. So the next thing is to link the pleasure to making the changes. If you were to make those changes now, linking the pleasure right now. First thing, right now. What will I experience right now if I was to make that first change? If I was to take that next step now? What would it, what would it be? And what might some of the pleasures be? You know, how might that influence my professional life? How might that influence my my personal relationships, my interaction with loved ones? If you're a parent, my relationship, your relationship with your children. Um, what about your health and fitness? What about your personal growth and development? If you're into spirituality, what about your spirituality? How might how might this influence or bolster up those little quests that I talk about that are referred to in other videos in different areas of your life? So linking as much pleasure to that now. And actually getting some getting some points there and starting to write that down, linking the pleasure now. And then the third and final thing is what about the pleasure in the future? If you were to make that change right now, what might be the positive the positive consequences of you achieving those things that you want right now in the future? So I'm talking one year from now. Two years from now, three years from now, if you want to make those changes that you know you want to make, you may not know the answers yet. But if you were to have those answers, if you were to find that deep inside that reservoir of all the resources that you have inside yourself, if you were to link as much pleasure to experiencing those changes, not only now, but in the future, how do you think that will change your outcome? This is what is known as the pleasure pain principle. So, don't only, not only think about linking the pain to now, but the pain to the future. So what might not happen if you do not make those changes you want to make right now? And then get busy amplifying your, your pleasure to now, achieving those things that you want to achieve. Sometimes make it actively imagining as if you already achieved them. You know, what, what, what value, what massive value would that bring to your life right now? And then link the pleasure to achieving those things right now, the things you are changing and the impact that that will bring all the way into your future, all the pleasure. Remember, there are different quests in life that we go out and fulfill. And one quest or one mission in life or one, one part of our life will directly influence all others. You think about your wheel of life, your mindfulness quest, uh, your spiritual quest, if that's what you're into, your health and fitness quest. Um, your relationship quest, your career quest, your financial quest, thinking about the pleasure of now and out to the future and linking pain to the future also. Use the pleasure pain principle. Get yourself a spreadsheet, link the pain to now, link the pain to future, link the pleasure to now and link the pleasure to future. Create four columns and just go ahead and start Go ahead and start just getting heaps of ideas. Get it out of your head and get it down on paper. Well, I hope you found this valuable. And uh, if you want any, any additional information, uh, make sure you jump onto my website at www.deancasimeno.com.au or email me directly at info at Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.